Hey everyone, uh, what we're going to do today is a flipping jig and uh, this is one that right now as the grass is dying off this is a really killer pattern. Uh, in the vise we have a half ounce snooty jig and it's got a 5 watt trocar TK800 jig hook in it. Um, really good combination. Uh, it's hard to tell. The color of this jig is smoke. Uh, I don't know if you could see it as I rotate the vise, but there is actually violet glitter in here. And I know it's not showing up on the camera, but uh, the glitter that I used with the epoxy kind of gives the smoke color um, a light purple tint. Uh, doesn't really make uh, a difference, I don't think. Uh, I'm pretty sure the fish don't care, but I think it looks pretty good with this jig. Uh, I know this color pattern seems to work really well right now with the grass dying off. So depending on where you're at in the country, um, it might be now, it might be a few weeks from now. But you should try to give this pattern a shot and see how it works for you. So we're going to start with some black 210 denier flat wax nylon thread. Let me just get a little bit of a base started. This is easy. It's three colors uh, and it's layered. And the first color what we're going to do is we're going to take a half tab. This is smoke purple barbed wire. And we're going to take a half tab and cut it in half. And we're going to tie it in. And you just want it so it's half and half. Half on one side, half on the other. Good coverage. Just want a little bit of this color. Sort of helps break it up a little bit. Adds a little different dimension to it. Uh, the black really uh, shows up. And it, it's funny it shows up because it's it's only a half tab. But it, again, it's the main color. The smoke is the reason why. The black and the purple really stand out. And I've used this all throughout the year. Um, but it seems when you get to this grass dying off, um, that seems to be the time of the year when it's the best. So you got that tied in. Now we're going to take the other half. Normally I just wrap it around uh, the thread, but it makes it harder for you to see. So... Bear with me here. I want to try to be as clear as I possibly can. Uh, this kind, this head is a little different to tie on, but this is my number one jig head. If I'm going to flip or pitch grass, mostly uh, pitch because the water, a lot of the waters I fish are too clear to get close enough to really flip. So, uh, but if I'm if I'm doing it in grass, this is the jig head that I'm using. So now we got our smoke purple barbed wire. Just get it distributed as equally as you can. It's not critical because you have other colors that are going to go over top. So now our second color, this is a half, uh, we're using a full tab of smoke. Uh, then I cut it in half, put a half on each side. It's easier to do it that way to get it distributed rather than try to work it all the way around. When I'm pressed for time and I'm just making them for myself and I'm not doing it on on the camera here uh, I'll just take it and work it around real quick but I want everything to be as clear as I possibly can so you just don't miss anything at least I try to, uh, to get that that side and of course make sure we're even in length and work it so we got half and half but the uh, entire jig is covered a 
couple wraps just to secure it. Done. Now our smoke is tied in. And the last color is smoke purple Dalmatian. This is smoke with the, the Dalmatian print on it with purple glitter. And what's neat is the purple, the, the violet glitter that I have on the jig head is a little different than the purple glitter that's on the smoke barbed wire, barbed wire smoke purple. Uh, that glitter is a little different. And this smoke, Dal, uh, smoke purple Dalmatian, the glitter, the purple glitter is a little bit different than what it is on the other items. So you get a couple different layers in this, this pattern. It really shows up in the water. And this just, um, this is one of the few jigs that I didn't really think about when I was putting it together. It, it's basically because I don't do anything a straight color. Like if I was doing just a, a plain brown jig, I would have three shades of brown. I would probably have just plain brown, brown black flake, and then maybe nature's edge brown or uh, something of, of that nature. Uh, but it would be three different shades. The same thing with green pumpkin. Because uh, I think it looks natural. It gives it a mottled appearance. So with this, I wanted to have the smoke purple. But I wanted it to stand out a little bit. And it just so happened that all the material that I gathered, um, the purples were all just a little bit different. And then we put the plain smoke in so uh, to break it up a little bit. So it ain't too much with the glitter. So now we have everything ready to go. All I got to do is finish up the collar here. Make sure everything's nice and tight. And then we're going to take a, a clip here. And we're going to clip or skirt material to the head so we can whip finish it. It's a little sloppy, but that'll work. That will work. One, two, three. Nope, our clip is going. And of course, the one I put on camera is the one that's giving me fits. Uh, after I did six of these previously. Maybe I gotta start doing a uh, by hand, ain't. Eh? We'll clip this in. Oh, sorry about that. I moved the camera. There we go. And we're going. Sorry about that. Two, three, four. Five and six. Yeah, I literally did six of these and didn't have a hitch. It seems like every time I'm doing this now and I'm putting it on camera, it's giving me a fit the last one. So we're going to take our loom water based head cement. And we're going to take our scissors here, and we're going to trim the ends of our silicone. I'm going to make sure we're all the way at the end. 
We don't want to end up making it too short. Take our clip off here. Done there. Take her out of the device. By the way, the new vice is awesome. Uh, really recommend that one. Uh, if you got the, it, I, I was very fortunate to have good friends. Uh, but if you can afford something like that, that is really nice. Of course, the Odyssey Spider that I had served me for a long, long time. So uh, that is actually a good vice as well. So. Whatever you can get, always get the best you can afford. That's what I always say. Same thing with my rods and reels. Now that's the smoke purple jig, but now we're going to finish it up. I like using a regular size uh, pocket chunk. And of course we molded in a bait keeper here. So I'm going to put the trailer on. That way you get an idea of the whole package. And this is black, uh, and that's just me adding some contrast so it stands out a little bit with the, with the smoke and the purple. It's not very different, still stays natural, but it provides that extra contrast. That is, that trocar hook is sticky. He has, he has got the little bit of it, it's stuck to me. We have smoke purple flipping jig. A little sloppy uh, on my tying part there. But the jig is, that's, that's as good as it gets for grass. That is a really good head for grass. And this pattern, the smoke purple, this time of year when the grass is dying off, give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.